having contested the presidency three times without success. A sizable number of politicians have asked God leader Raila Odinga to call it a day in politics. Perhaps born out of this state of affairs, research firm Ipsos Innovate went out and conducted a survey on Raila's political future. The findings, according to Ipsos research analyst Tom Wolf, however, paints a picture of an electorate that is sharply divided on whether Odinga should exit the political arena. 35% of Kenyans want Odinga to withdraw from active politics. 34% say he must stay active and contest the presidency, while 26% just want him active but not contest the presidency. A majority between half and two-thirds of Jubilee supporters would like Mr. Odinga to retire completely. On the far left, only 5% of court supporters would like him to retire completely. On the other hand, on the right, two-thirds of court supporters would like him to re both remain active and even contest if he wants to, 69%, but only 10% of Jubilee supporters would like him to contest. Now, whether that's because they think he would not be a good president or because he think he might be a serious challenge in the election, I don't know. We didn't ask that question. These findings will generate heated debate as to why the research firm specifically chose this line of survey. I haven't heard anyone in Jubilee suggest that the president should retire. Have you? Give me the quote. Even what Angola said the other day, he should retire and he's a court principal. Even Colonzo, who's another court principal, said I should be the candidate. This is in the public domain. It's not something we're making up. The lead researcher says the findings are scientific and justifiable. We base our surveys on realities, not imagined things that never occur. The research firm, however, disclosed that President Uru Kenyatta and code leader El Odinga are miles away from other presidential candidates in terms of approval on their commitment to address key national issues. Kenyatta, however, receives highest marks compared to Odinga on this front. The survey conducted between June 4th and 18 further projects a bad image of political formations, as many Kenyans feel they do not represent their interests. Do you think there is any in Kenya that genuinely represents the interests of ordinary people? And 50% say no. And even among those who identify with either of the coalitions or their constituents and par constituent parties, 48% of Jubilee supporters say no, there's none that really caters for my needs. On the question of whether ordinary Kenyans benefit when a member of their community ascends to power, Wolf says Kenyans remain divided if this is indeed the case. Kenyans think that they actually benefit when someone from their own community is in power, speaking of the presidency. Only about half agree. Eric Biegon reporting for Channel One News.